Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your Holy One shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest, St. Pius, a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Add nothing to his words, lest he reprove you and you be exposed as a deceiver. Two things I ask of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Put falsehood and lying far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Provide me only with the food I need. Lest being full I deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or being in want I steal and profane the name of, the Lord, of my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your, Your word, word, O Lord, is a lamp, lamp for my feet. feet. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Your word, O Lord, Lord is, is a lamp, lamp for my feet. feet. The law of your mouth is, is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, Your word O Lord, Lord, is a lamp for your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word, Your word O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. From every evil way I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. Your, your word, word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I gain discernment. Therefore I hate every false way. Your word, word O Lord, Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Falsehood I hate and abhor. Your law I love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick nor sack nor food nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet and testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel today, we hear the Gospel which has spurred men on and women on to lead lives of, of deep holiness and deep poverty. This was the words that we hear that spurned on the Franciscan order and that they often look back on in discerning whether or not they're living their order, their rule out to its fullest degree. And so they have fights about, well, does having a backup tunic count as having a second tunic? Should we have one for colder weather, one for warmer weather? And we see these fights because there's that great desire to live this out 
and to be faithful to the words of the Lord here. And for us who all own a second pair of clothing, there can be that temptation to, to, throw this, to throw this out or to not take it as applying to us. But even for us who don't live this particular gospel out in its literal sense, there is still something we can learn here. Because one of the things the Lord is saying to all the Christians who are going out on mission is that they aren't to have themselves prepared to go in with a plan that then they're going to go in and do, and that they have already have everything they could possibly need, and if it doesn't work, well, they have a backup plan. If people don't welcome them, well, then they can just set up shop somewhere else or they have what they need. They're going in and following the Lord and going on mission means to be dependent on the Lord and dependent on how He is going to provide for them. And so there is that lack of security, that lack of stability that comes with having what we need. It means stepping outside of that. And that is something that all of us can do and are called to do in our Christian lives as we go forth to share His Word with others. It means stepping outside of our comfort zone. It means stepping outside of a prepared action plan. And we see here, too, that as they went on mission, if they were accepted, great. If they weren't, they just cast the dust off their feet and move on. It wasn't about them. It wasn't about the identity of the one on mission. It wasn't about their self-actualization or their acceptance. Whether or not they were accepted is not a sign of their ability as a preacher. It wasn't a sign of their ability as a Christian. If they were rejected, it didn't mean that God wasn't happy with them or that they weren't a good enough Christian. Because we're there as Christians to preach the word. We're there to share him with other people. And if they accept, great. Glory to God. If not, we can move forward without any loss of our confidence in our relationship with the Lord. So there we see that we desire to grow in our relationship with Him, desire to grow in our dependence on Him. And we do that by not over-preparing and therefore not giving Him any way to trust in Him, not trusting Him at all. But it doesn't mean necessarily by our ability to produce the fruit. We put ourselves in the position where fruit can be produced, and if it does, good. And if it doesn't, we move on to the next. And today we celebrate the feast day of St. Padre Pio, who was one of the great Franciscan saints, one who worked great miracles, heard confessions for hours and hours a day, had the stigmata, a great miracle worker saint. But he too always identified himself with that spirit of St. Francis, that spirit that we hear in the gospel today, of being a very poor man before God, a poor friar before the Lord. And that's how he always sought to identify himself as. Not as a great miracle worker, or even a great and identifiable priest, but just as a simple friar. Yeah, the, uh, the, that wasn't it, but it's still a good thing to say. And he had, he had a line, and it was, pray, hope, and don't worry. And there's that, the line maybe can sum up this whole, what we hear about in the gospel today, of we pray, we put our hope in the Lord, and then after that we trust it to the Lord's hands, and we don't worry or become anxious about the results. Filled with hope and trust in the Father, let us join in love to, pre to present our petitions to him. For our Holy Father and other church leaders, may the grace of God sustain them as they guide their flocks. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in leadership positions throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working for peace instead of war, in charity instead of greed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from chronic illness and those who care for them. May the Lord relieve their pain and uplift their spirits. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the hope of Christ burn in our hearts and inspire our sharing of God's message of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For the faithful departed who have left this world to join the communion of saints, may they rejoice in the loving embrace of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Teresa Lage and for August Dorflinger, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer these petitions with gratitude and love, asking that you receive them in your gracious mercy. Through your Son, Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Pius, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. <clears throat> this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Pius of Petrocina, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be clean. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he'll put that servant in charge of all his property. Those joining us on the live stream, our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high, and all who celebrate the feast day a blessed pious, that we may preserve in integrity the faith, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of St. Padre Pio, may Almighty God bless in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
Go forth, the Mass is ended.